Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another episode of the Birchlands. I don't think I showed this last episode, but uh, the village is kind of expanding, as you can see. We have this guy, he trades us tools, and we have this little guy right here. Um, we'll decide what he becomes when he gets older. Um, yeah. We do have an expanding village here. And villagers are pretty OP, not gonna lie. Also have this guy who's huh? master level, very nice, he's given us the golden carrots and the glistering melons. And this guy who is gonna be master level soon, he is trading us pumpkins and melons right now. We're also getting a pretty good food source from these dudes too. But what I wanted to focus on in this episode was really farm expansion. And what I want to do is I want to build a food farm. And by that, I mean a sheep farm. And where I'm going to put it is probably right here in this clearing. But, I have been thinking about another spot. And that other spot is right here on the beach. Now there is one problem. We are going to need a boatload of dirt to make sure that this farm actually is renewable. Because, as you might know if you play Minecraft, the sheep need grass to get their wool back. They pretty much eat the grass. The grass turns to dirt, and then they get their wool, which we can then shear over and over and over again as long as there is grass. But as you can probably tell over here, there ain't much grass here in the, uh, in the, the beach. I was almost going to say in the desert. It might as well be the desert, let's be real, because of how huge it is. I looked at it on MCA Selector. It makes up a pretty good chunk of the island. Um, you can see that on screen right now. In here we have our beautiful storage facility. We're definitely going to expand the farms. But another thing I want to do is expand the crop farms right down here. Because these are small. And these were great early game, but they aren't going to do much good now because they don't, aren't, like, they aren't actually big and they don't produce much. At least not for the villagers, because I do want to mass produce crops and then we trade it all to the villagers and get loads and loads of emeralds which we can then use to buy very good gear from that toolsmith who will be leveled up by then. No more of this junk gear right in here, okay? We're talking better quality stuff here. Now, I'm gonna look in my storage room over here. We're gonna make sure we have enough stone because I do plan to close off the sheep pen with some stone. By that I mean cobblestone. It doesn't look like we have much of anything right now. So that might be a slight, slight problem, ladies and gentlemen. How am I gonna go about doing this? Well, we don't exactly have to make it out of stone. We could do wood. I usually do stone for any really animal pen. I do What I like to do is I place a block and then I put a slab over it. And it really gets the job done, too. It uses less resources. It's very OP, actually. But yeah, I'm wondering if I should do it, like, right here. I think I will. And I think we're gonna use birch yet again for the wood. So, I'm gonna go try to find some. Alright, so I think the beach won't be a very good idea. Because we can easily just use the hills right over here. I want to do a flat area. Because what I like to do for pens is I like to flatten them out. And it's a great source of dirt, let me tell you. And stone, too. It really, I think dirt farms are very dang useless in this. Because there's just simply so much dirt about in your typical Minecraft world. And while this may not be your typical Minecraft world, it, there, it does have its fair share of dirt, to say the least. Now what am I going to do here? I'm going to push these trees back, that's what I'm going to do. We'll get more planks in the process, but as you can see, I am making a line of planks right here across the terrain. Hopefully, um, this will look alright and you won't be able to escape it, or at least the sheep won't be able to escape it. I'm not going to be containing myself in here, big shock, I know. Alright, now the trees are pushed back a little bit, I'm going to continue this line going along the path right here. Alrighty then, there we go. We have the overall boundary of the area. It's not too shabby. Um, we will probably definitely be uh, taking down some of these hills though, or at least flattening it out in the future for dirt. And just so it looks better, you know, so we can really make sure no animals get over. Now the next order of business is going to be putting slabs on top of all this. 
And don't worry, I have plenty of slabs right here. We have 16 plus 64. I'll put the number of slabs on screen because I can't do math right now. And there we go. It took a little bit more slabs than I expected, but we are really sailing through this right now. I was expecting this to be a, a longer episode. I was expecting, like, the whole animal farm thing to be taking up the entire episode, to be honest here with you, but... That gives us more time to expand the farms, but we're not exactly done yet with this area. You see, for a sheep farm to actually be, you know, useful, you actually need sheep in it. So that's exactly what I am going to do. So we are going to get out this wheat right here, put away these pumpkins that have been in my inventory since the beginning of the episode. We're going to keep the extra pickaxe because it's an extra pickaxe. Pickaxes aren't exactly easy to come by in this world just yet. Or at least, well, I guess they kind of are because of the villager, but still... We're definitely not flashing some diamond picks like I have in my other worlds. Now, we're gonna go find those sheep. And yes, there are a lot of you guys here. Thanks to all my breeding in the previous episodes. So yeah, all of you are coming with me now. We have some additional blocks on here. I'll use the crafting tables. I don't know why. I use crafting tables for the weirdest stuff in this game. But yeah, we'll throw the wheat in the offhand, and then we will bridge you guys right on over into your new home that you will never leave. Where you guys are living for the rest of your- oh, for goodness sake, get these buffoons, man. They're fighting over who the heck gets to go over the wall first. Well, you both are going to be trapped forever, why? Oh my goodness. Alright, no worries, we'll break part of this, and then... Oh my, you idiots, I swear. Alright, there we go. There's no way you can... These sheep are truly stupid. I know you three buffoons are in here. I'm gonna close you guys up, and then I'm gonna go out and look for your friends in the wood. Right, now, hopefully, this will all go according to plan. Yes, come on over. Uh, yes. Alright. Easy. Alright, now... I'm gonna make you guys breed up. Because I need more of you. Where are these... Okay, here we are. There we go. So there we go. First sheep, first animal farm of the world. Very, very nice. And I also have a pair of shears in the house. So that means, that means we can start shearing these fellas. And instead of giving one wool one shear, they actually can give up to three. There we go. We're going to shear all of you guys. There we go. Eleven wool. Not bad. Which... Wool can be used to craft more beds, and you'll never guess where I'm gonna put more beds in the village. Crazy, I know. How do I come up with these things? Yeah, there we go. Three new beds for villagers. That's three villagers now, so... Hopefully there's enough space in that house, because if there isn't, um, it's gonna get a little crowded in there, and I kinda want it to look good, too. Go in here. Yeah, there should be plenty of space. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. Oh, look, another dude. Oh my goodness, you guys are awesome. I gotta name the original farmers, though. I believe I have a name tag somewhere, but we're gonna need an anvil. Yeah, there you have it. We have the first animal farm in the world. This right here. Beautiful. It's producing us wool. It's soon it's gonna start producing mutton when I have enough um, sheep in there. Which we can then trade to a butcher, which we unfortunately don't have yet, but... Yeah, we'll be making emeralds off of that, too. Really, I'm looking to make loads of emeralds off of all my farms, so that way we can get very good gear. That's really the plan. But yeah, I do have a name tag somewhere in here. Here it is. Um, unfortunately, we can't use it just net yet, because I don't have it named and we don't have an anvil. But we can change that. I'm gonna. This is gonna be very expensive, though, for iron. It's three blocks of iron. We need more iron to make the anvil. There we go. This anvil is also going to be very helpful for when we get librarians. Boom! There we go. Smack that boy down, and right here we can actually name the item. I'm gonna name the first villager Tim because, well, it's it's a it's a cool name, guys. We're gonna call the first guy Tim. I think that'll be the master guy. And the other one, we're gonna call him Tom. Um, yeah, very great names, guys. Tim and Tom. 
the first two original villagers on this island. And hopefully these guys won't die in any raids we do in the future, because I do have plans to get totems from raids, but there you go. Your name is Tim now. As you can see, you're not a farmer anymore. Well, you kind of are a farmer, but you're not labeled as a farmer. You are now Tim, my friend. How do you feel? I'll take that as he feels pretty good. Anyways, on MCA Selector, I noticed that there's actually another island in that direction over there. So we're gonna go check it out. Uh, hopefully we can find some good resources there. It's just a normal birch island, but you never know what you may find. Also, couldn't hurt to, you know, get some exploration going in this world. First I gotta put all my junk away. Alright, sailing around we have some bees exploring the ocean. That's totally normal. But we want to head, I believe, this direction or this direction. I'm not really sure. I'm going to turn up my render distance a little bit. Alright, so over there is the village. And right over there should be the island I saw. Is that it? That's it. Alright, so there we go. Another island. A lot bigger than I thought it was, too. But yeah, I guess you never know what to expect. We have a very nice ocean right here. Alright, so here we are. We're on the shore. We're gonna climb up this hill, and we're gonna go search for some stuff. As you can see, no to absolutely nobody's surprise, it looks just like a birch forest. Except for these guys right here. These are cows. Why? There we go. These are cows. And maybe we'll take them over to our island. But I want to see if there are any exposed caves to the surface right here. Because if there are, we can definitely use that to get coal, iron, and all that good stuff. Or even better, maybe an exposed ravine, too. Yeah, look at all these animals here. This is, a uh, birch forest hills. And are there, are there, is there a tall birch forest around here? It's kind of rare. I made it a little rare because it's, it's a rare phenomenon. But yeah, I don't see any tall birch trees anywhere. So yeah, I guess this is just, a uh, birch forest hills. It's also slightly higher than a normal birch forest, as you can probably tell. You see how the land slowly goes up when we go in here, but we are going to see if this has anything worth having. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's a cave! Oh, it's a lush cave! Nice! Okay, I'm a fan of this. We have some coal, which I will grab. And that grew right as I was going to mine it, so I broke it. That's hilarious. There's some glow berries. I probably already collected that, but we are grabbing this coal because this is going to be useful later. And I'm going to go to my other world right now and explain why. Alright, so the reason I need a whole bunch of coal is right over in this direction by the village. Also, I did some renovations here between episodes. Uh, yeah, so that's why it looks a little different. Yeah, if we go in here, I have some toolsmiths and weaponsmiths in here. And basically these guys will trade coal for emeralds, and while many people view that as a scam, which it is, it can also be used to unlock the next two trades right here, which is um, 36 emeralds for a bell and 4 iron for an emerald. And if you have an iron farm, you can level up the trade again and start getting all this enchanted gear right here, and this diamond hoe sometimes. Sometimes the diamond hoe is replaced by an enchanted iron shovel, but I guess I'm just lucky on these both of these guys because these book guys are both trading me hoes right now. But yeah, and shovels too. Oh wait, no, never mind. Just one guy gives a pickaxe, the other gives a shovel. But yeah, same with weaponsmiths. As you can see, these guys will also take the coal for an emerald, which you can level up, get the iron, level them up again, and we have the worst trade in the game right here. Followed by some of the best trades in the game, like the Silk Touch Axe, but the, the enchantments are obviously not the same between every villager you create. Because this guy wants in... this guy will give me an Efficiency 2 Axe, while this other dude right here is gonna give me an Axe with three different enchantments, so I guess I'm very lucky. How's this guy doing? Yeah, this is a guy I'm working on right now. Um, but so we're gonna level him up real quick. Alright, so I've got some iron. Here he is right here. We're gonna trade with this guy a couple times. And there we go. We leveled him up. Let's see what trades he has. Alright, so we have a terrible trade and a very good trade right here. So yeah, this is pretty much where the world is probably gonna be going. We're gonna build a village pretty much and it's gonna look 
Similar to this, obviously not identical. This uses a different data pack. But, yeah, pretty much the same idea. Also, down here I've got a massive farming district. And, uh, we have quite a lot of farmers here, if I do say so myself. So, yeah. I'm not sure if we'll make our farming district as huge as this one right here. But, uh, yeah, back to the Birchlands, folks. Alright, yeah, I do like to show off my stuff in these videos. But yeah, right here, this is looking like a pretty dang good cave. That is iron, that is copper. Heck yeah, brother. Well, let's do this. Yeah, look at how deep this goes. Hopefully we'll be able to get out of here. That's gold. Okay. I'm a fan of this. That means we're pretty deep underground. There we go, that's two right there. Now over here. He's getting a little uh, claustrophobic over here. So I'm sorry if I'm triggering your claustrophobia. But yeah, it's it I guess the cave vines and everything and all the moss makes the cave like really uh really tight to walk in. Or unless all the moss blocks here were normally supposed to be stone blocks. That's lapis and that's redstone. This is a very good cave. We're definitely gonna note this. Good thing I make videos about this world because uh this is going on YouTube and we have deep slate. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's, that'll be good. That'll be great for, uh, building stuff later. We'll definitely come back to this cave once I can actually make, like, a safe way in and out of it, too. Because we're gonna have to probably pillar up to get out of here. Also, we have floating gravel. A lot of deep slate. I'll just take one for now. We have tough. So, yeah, this is a really good cave. Alright, we gotta really be careful of this right here. Because that's dangerous. Especially, you can't really see it until you're right on top of it. We gotta block this water off, too, because this is just a nuisance. Alright, where are you coming from? You're coming from right there. There you go, get blocked off. There's a lot of water in this cave. How did I miss this iron? I guess I just didn't explore this area, but yeah. This is mine now. Ooh, lava. That's not cool. Uh, I'm not even gonna risk getting around that. We don't want to burn, because we don't have... Oh, well, although we do have some pretty decent armor. Like, iron is nice. It's not quite as good as diamond or netherite, but I don't want to burn. It isn't going to protect us very well against that. It's not like, well actually, yeah, we do have some water. But I still don't want to risk it, because I want minimal deaths. We've already died once, and that was kind of hilarious, actually, in this series. But I don't want to die, like, a million times to lava, of all things. And possibly risk losing my stuff. That looks to be a little bit more than I expected. Alright, let's get up there and start mining this. Now, is there any more? Yes, there is. Right here under the moss blocks. Very cleverly hidden. It's going to be tougher to find ores with all the moss blocks about. But nevertheless, we have 38 iron. Not bad. Now, I'm not really too interested in the copper. That doesn't have too much uses, really. I think you can only craft blocks with it. And even then, it's a little expensive. So I'm going to leave that be for now. But maybe we'll build a copper structure later in the series. Yeah, we are looking very nice here. 64, over 64 coals here. Not bad, but another thing I want... I uh, just actually just realized clay because we're gonna need this for a villager later. Also, as you probably heard, coal for the weaponsmith, all the smiths actually. So we're gonna use pretty much resources to level up our villagers. And while we're actually digging up this clay, we might actually come across more ores, which I can't say no to that. Because the more resources we have, that was the best pronunciation ever. The more resources we have, the more trades we can do, and really the more resources we have. Because resources are quite helpful in this game. Gotta watch out for the lava. Alright, so we don't have much durability left on the pickaxe. I think we have enough to get out of here. Oh my god, iron. Yeah. Alright, so if we need it, we can just make clay blocks and pillar out that way. So I am going to grab this last bit of iron with the last bit of juice my pickaxe has. There it goes. But we will no doubt be back here again, 100%, because this is a nice cave. It's a lot better than the ones at um, our main island. 
Now, I'm not sure if this is the correct way up. It's not. Probably not. We gotta find a way out of here now. Give me a minute. I'm gonna cut ahead. Alright, never mind. I'm cutting ahead. This cave just keeps getting better and better, I tell you. What's our Y level? 34. We haven't made much progress. Alright, cutting ahead to when I get out for real this time. Yeah. Any unbearable hours later. Yes, and we're officially finally back here after a very, very long journey. You have no idea how much that gave me a headache trying to get out of that cave. But we're finally back now. Did the sheep here grow up already? I think they did. Okay. Let me get my wheat. I have to put away all my junk. Again. Take the iron and throw in more iron. I'm gonna check all the rest of these too for anything I could need. I guess not. Alright, then we're gonna head back to the storage facility. We're gonna place the chest right here and we're gonna throw some of the wheat inside right after I'm done breeding these guys. Because that will be where we get the wheat for breeding for this pen right here. So yeah, this farm is definitely growing. Is there anybody else here who needs to be bred? Alright, no. I guess not. There we go. Slowly it's coming along. We're at level 26 now. On day 64. Nice. That's a pretty significant number in this game. And I gotta go get myself a better pick and shovel. Because as you can tell, air isn't too effective for mining. Alright, so I did a few things off camera. I did a little bit of fishing because that's how I got that first name tag in case you're wondering. I didn't actually show how I got it, but I think I got it between episodes 1 and 2. But yeah, I was fishing right here for a little bit. We got some fish, but no name tag, unfortunately. And I'm smelting up the fish right now. Or cooking, whatever. But, while I was thinking about trying to get a name tag, I was also thinking about where the heck we're going to put our big farms. And I think I have a very creative idea as to how we're going to do this. What I was thinking is we are going to extend this dock out, out over the air into the ocean. And we will then put our crops out there in sort of like a grid format almost. But I am going to cut a whole bunch of trees right now. In fact, I am going to bring a spare axe, which unfortunately I don't have. So no worries, actually. Because that villager, he grew up. And now we can officially use him. I need a grindstone now. Yes, alright. As I was saying, we have a grindstone now. We're gonna go place this in the village. That third guy grew up, and unfortunately I can't have any more farmers until we find another name tag because I kinda wanna keep track of the first two. And you know how villagers look identical when they're all master level. Don't worry, Tom, you'll have an official name tag soon. Just keep on going with your work here. Keep offering me good trades. Holy crap! Oh my goodness! Okay! <laughs> So we have some village growth here. Hello lad, I already traded with you, but you, right here, you are in need of my services. So, I am going to take care of that for you. Go right over there, there's your grindstone, go you- oh my god, hold up, he's being the most cooperative- oh wait, you you claim the workstation. Okay, there we go, oh, ho ho ho, oh, enchanted iron sword you say, okay, I can't say no to that. That's a really good sword, actually. I'm gonna buy it. There we go, ching. Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is this village is booming, my lads, my beautiful people. All right, now we're going to kill two birds with one stone here. Not literally, of course, that would be mean. But we're gonna cut down all of these trees right here, going all the way over to the animal pen. And I think some of them back here, we're not going to go all the way to the beach because that would take forever. But really, this whole area, like right here, and I believe that should give us plenty of wood for all the bridges we're going to be building. Now, I'm not sure exactly sure where I'm going to get the dirt. I think I should have some dirt in the storage facility. So, pretty much, we can just use that. It's time for a time lapse, folks. And some beats, as per usual.
All right, there we go. This is what we've done. Also, that's a cat. And while I was tree chopping, I also noticed the first iron golem in the world. There, this guy is right over here. He's gonna be kind of useless most of the time, but when there's a raid, he's definitely gonna be helpful because he'll be. He's kind of tanky. These iron golems. Holy crap! Our village is absolutely exploding with population now. I am so happy right now, actually. All right. So this is how much wood we have. Four stacks. I'm gonna do the pathways out of slabs, so that'll definitely save some space, really, and resources. And I rarely use slabs for floors. Like, I like to use whole blocks. Because I don't know why, but it just triggers me knowing that there's like a hollow space in the floor. Um, yeah, that's, that's me in a nutshell, I guess. But we are going to build this out right about here. It's gonna go out, I'm gonna get- oh wait, that's already slabs, nice, okay, how convenient. But yeah, we'll start converting all of this to slabs, and now I will show you how this is going to be done. So we're gonna bridge out like this, pretty much, and now with a 10 block gap right in between here, we will bridge out just a tiny bit more, and we'll do another post right here. Also, it's gonna be very expensive on wood to have these go all the way to the ocean floor. We'll do it eventually, but not now. I don't want to chop even more wood for an eternity, but I will have to eventually. But anyways, we're gonna bridge out, we're gonna go nine blocks in this direction. There we go, just like that. And on the ninth block, we'll do another post, and also finish the path. And then we're gonna sort of repeat it in a square, almost. Alright, so pretty much like this. Then we're gonna go grab some dirt, and a new axe, too. Place the dirt all around here in the middle, and then place some slabs right here in the middle middle, I guess. Then we're gonna craft a hoe. Now I'm gonna go look and see what Tim and Tom wanna trade. I believe it's potatoes and beetroot, but I just wanna be sure. What the heck? I don't ever remember there being a third composter. Where the heck did you come from? I mean, you lost your job. Well, kinda, your stats did save, but wait a minute. What the heck? This guy lost his job. Okay. You. Get out of here. We only need Tim and Tom here. I don't know why they do that. It's so weird. But yeah, alright. So, potatoes, beetroot on that guy, and wheat and beetroot. So, we're gonna focus on beetroot, because they both have that, so we can mass trade it. Of course, we are gonna focus on more crops later on. Boy, do I have a lot of beetroot seeds. We got the seeds in the offhand, we're just gonna till and place at the same time here. And rest in peace, ho, I should craft another one. Alright, now we can keep going. And there we go. So, that is one farm done. I am probably going to make a couple more off camera. Oh look, the first one already grew, how convenient. It's just Minecraft in a nutshell for you right there, but yeah, there we go, our first farm, our very first farm. It's done. Um, well not exactly, but the first improved farm. Now this alone isn't too effective compared to this right over there, but I'm going to build like five or six of these, and then it will be pretty much a powerhouse for beetroot. And, um, yeah, I'm gonna record again when that is all taken care of. Alright, so I just got done making the farms, and I did wait a little bit. This is what we have right here. I waited because I kind of wanted some of the crops grow, but they're taking uh, a little bit to grow up. So, I just figured I'm just gonna record right now, film the end of the video, and, yeah, then you'll see it on YouTube. You'll get to watch it sooner. But, uh, yeah, this is what we have right here. Four beetroot farms right here, and two wheat in the back because we need something to fuel the sheep farm we made earlier in this video, but uh, yeah, this is what we got right here. Also, I've begun with work on a little something below the storage facility, and this is going to be our basement floor, one of the many basement floors, because I plan to have this going all the way down to world height, or bedrock, I should say, yeah. That makes a lot more sense, but... This is pretty much where we're going to put all of our junk. Um, yeah, nothing much more to say there. And, over here, some th important things have been happening. Now I have two iron golems and a lot, and I mean a lot, of villagers. Look at all these dudes right here. 
Um, they're gonna make quite the workforce later. Um, I think there is a baby villager, I think, in the house. I uh, just gotta make sure we don't have, like, it should be only be four with the actual job, so... Yeah, we should be good. But yeah, this is the baby villager right here, as you can see, uh, not the same baby villager from the beginning of this episode, but... Yeah, this is what we have right here. Holy crap, wait a second. Oh, I thought there were... I thought there were two baby villagers for a second. Those guys get around very, very fast. But, uh, yeah. This is what we have now. And I've leveled up. Um, I think your name is Tim, so that means this guy is Tom. A third one just spawned. A third iron golem. Holy crap. I heard it. I heard something. I heard the iron golem getting hurt because sometimes they spawn in walls for some reason. Uh, I guess it's because the game gets confused if there are not, if there's like a non full block nearby. But there we go. Three iron golems defending this place. I didn't have to do anything to work for um, the iron golems. They just spawn. Well, the only problem is that they will turn against us if we act bad around these guys, so we can't really be doing that. But yeah, loads of villagers, as you can see. Um, also, floating grass block, because if you remember, um, there was a tree here with the grass block on top of it, and since grass blocks don't decay with trees, there we go. So, uh, yeah, very nice. Also, a wandering scammer. This guy's trades are kind of rubbish. I think there's another wandering scammer near the, uh, near the beach. But anyways, um, thank you for watching to the end. Uh, love you guys a lot. That just about marks the end of the episode. We're over 30 minutes now, I think, so... Yeah, see you later.